You know, we kind of set the bar when we did the Rampage 3 Extreme. A lot of people were super juiced about that board when we released it. We did it in the formula, we had the gene. This is a special refresh that we're working on uh, for X58 because it's still going to be the only platform that you can do with six cores. Mm -hmm. So there's, it still holds its position. It's not going anywhere. It's slated for even late uh, Q3, maybe even early Q4. So this isn't a SKU that's going any, uh, anywhere. Uh, P67 is definitely, I think, the premier product. And I think a, there is going to be a little bit of crossover for entry-level X58 adoption. But I think when the 970 price drop hits shortly, you're still going to have a lot of people interested in wanting to get six core base performance. All right. Uh, right. So that's kind of our focus with this. Most of the elements that I talked about on that board, they're all here. So really what the special aspects are is going to be what's called our Thunderbolt module. Um, that's going to be an add-on module that brings our Zonar class of audio cards physically onto the board. So oh, okay. we're bringing on onboard amplification for the audio, and then we're also going to be introducing the Killer Neck. Now, it's not going to be Killer Neck as opposed to Intel LAN. We want to maintain both. We've gotten such good response from having the Intel LAN, we don't want to eliminate one or the other. We want the Intel LAN because we know that general enthusiasts and a lot of the even workstation people that sometimes pick ROG that don't overclock it, they just want that high class of product, they love the Intel LAN. But for some gamers, they've requested, you know, they're going to get a little bit better latency and a little bit better performance, you know, and as this is going to be positioned on top of Extreme, just pretty much want to give them everything that, that's it's able to be put on the board. Um, some of the other just slight elements that we're changing here, you can see that the board, we've gone to the same matte finish that we're using on our graphics cards, so it's a nice flat matte. Otherwise, um, all the hardware that I covered on the Maximus 4 Extreme, like the Super 8 um, Digi Plus VRM design, the AI Suite 2, the cool USB files flashing, the Bluetooth, all that is all similar. Um, you know, we, we like to maintain consistency on the RG products to make sure that users don't feel like, well, if I buy something below, I'm really losing out on a lot. Mm -hmm. We want to try to make sure that they're getting a huge amount of value, but at the same time, you know, we're giving you some additional benefits as you go up the platform. Okay.